Hi, I'm Smizoma for NHL94Online.com. Welcome to the Sold Out Stream. Tonight, we're talking about uh, the differences between NHL 94 Rewind and the original game. Uh, I'm going to try to go through it kind of quickly, and then after this, we'll have basically a, a second stream. So, here's the first thing you can see. This uh, intro screen is different. Um, at the bottom, you see FMOD, Arsenal, and Empty Clip. Um, Empty Clip is the studio that made this. Um, Arsenal is the, uh, the uh, it's like an emulator, I guess, uh, and it allows them to uh, put things on top of their top of the game. Um, so press A, like it asks for. At the top, you see the profile. Uh, so I guess if you had multiple controllers connected, you could switch your profiles. Um, yeah, so. Also new is the side art switch. Uh, you get a controls summary screen, and there's credits. Like this Columbus, I wanted to use the Columbus. So I don't know if you can see. Players have different skin tones. This is Seth Jones here. I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> 14, is that Cam Atkinson? So, that's really interesting. We don't know how they've done that. Um, Raph knows a bit about the graphics. He was pretty surprised that they were able to do that because in the original game, uh, every player, they all share the same color palette. So, They've done something interesting to give different players um, different palettes. Okay, we can look at a couple other bugs. Oh, so yeah, bug fixes. <laughs> um, it's been subtle. Uh, the heavier a player is, the better he can check. That's backwards from the original game. There's a bug in the original game where the uh, the lighter a player was, the better they could check. Which of course makes no sense. So they fixed that in this game. And another thing that they've changed, if you go into the, the player ratings, let's, I guess I'll have to try to find a representative one here. Okay, so Marcus Nudevara, let's see here's pack, pass accuracy 61, Sick Handling 61, Endurance 61, Aggressiveness 61. So this is a player who his base rating from a lot of these attributes is 3. And in the original game, if you had a base rating of 3, the ratings in here would um, fluctuate around a certain point. So if your base rating was 3, the center point of that translated to a 64, and you would have a, a bit of a variation around that 64. Uh, they've used a, uh, a hack uh, that actually, if I can toot my own gold horn, that's a hack that I made, um, that removes that randomness. Um, the players are still hot or cold per game, so they're not, they don't always feel exactly the same. Uh, but the actual rating you see here is accurate, not random. So Marcus Nidavera, space rating here for checking aggressiveness, it's, it's 64. And he's three points cold this game. So that's your Seth Jones shot power 71, defensive awareness 71. Uh, his base for that, those two attributes would be um, 72. So he's just one point cold. Ryan Murray, on the other hand, he's four points hot. So that's neat that they did that because you can actually get a much better idea of. Uh, if your player is hot or cold or not, so if you want to take him out of the game. Let's see, is there anyone here who I would look at and, oh, that guy's really hot, we need to keep him. So, Zach Kerensky, he's a uh, plus two hot. Oh, but Seth Jones, he's a, no, no he's a minus one. Um, yeah, minus one. So, no one pops out to me as being way at the hot end. Maybe just check the forwards. Pierre Luc Dubois is plus three in this game. 
Since base rating is 90 in this attribute, it's got a plus 3. Uh, what else is different? Okay. So now we're into the new... So those are the bug fixes. Now we've got new bugs. So I take a big shot here, you're gonna see the lay. So, I heard the sound well after that shot hit uh, 18. Dubois. <laughs> it's, it's really delayed. Um, that apparently is an issue between uh, Fmod, which was uh, a name you saw in the opening uh, the, the splash screen. And next to the Arsenal emulator. And it's an issue between that interacting with Unity, which is um, a common uh, graphics and gaming library used in uh, your iPhone, Android phone, Xbox, PlayStation. It's some sort of bug there. It's been it's been known about for at least half a year. Um, I don't know, you know which particular component is responsible for the bug and fixing it, or if there is a fix. Uh, anyway, oh here, we go. Okay, I'm gonna exit this game because there is another bug I know about. This before last stream with Toronto. Going to edit lines. We pick Mitchell Marner, and look at that. You got you got two Mitchell Marners on your starting lineup. So. One thing I didn't do last time is I didn't try to play like that. What happens if you have two Mitch Marners on the ice at the same time? So there's the first one playing center. And let's find the other one. He's here on the wing. And can we get a goal? Mitch Marner assisted by Mitch Marner. One timer, nope. Matthews anyway. So I'm curious how that works in the player stats. So Marner's got an assist. That was the winger. The winger version of Marner. Yeah, you see the R? It's the winger. Let's get a point for the center. Ideally we'll, we'll get a... Oh, he's gone! <laughs> he's missing! He scored! got a point and he's just gone. He's been removed from the game. So they did something with the line changes. I'm not sure why, what, what the point was. But you can see that, uh, oh there's another example of the um, palette switching. Well, when he was in the box I think his, his, uh, his skin tone went back to the original uh, NHL 94 Sega version. Marner, or center when Marner scores. Is he gonna get ejected from the game? Put one in. Let's check those. Player stats. So Marner did get, you know, one time it was the winger version, one time it was the center version. Can we get him back on the ice? So he's missing here. Let's pick up that puck. We got a face off. Come to edit lines. Let's put uh, Devaro's back. And then we'll try Marner again. That might not work. You might have to actually get back to the uh, game for that to take effect. Yeah, he's gone again. Okay. Tavara's back. Uh, what? Oh yeah, so 
There's been a lot of reports of the game crashing. Um, and it seems to be related to line changes. Here, the boards and press uh, the uh, X button. Or the, the left button button. You can uh, fuck out intentionally. Let's put Marner back in. We'll try once more to get a, a one-timer. Oh, this time it's not working. Maybe that double Marner. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how to do it then. Um, and the the biggest bug of all in uh, NHL 94 Rewind is there's no online play. So, hopefully... Oh, we got a McDavid breakaway. Hopefully uh, at some point they can add that. Apparently it is doable. I don't know uh, if they'll get the uh, go-ahead from EA to actually implement that. Uh, another difference between NHL 94 Rewind and NHL 94. If you have any more, uh, any more um, examples of differences, let me know in the chat. Uh, let's go to the edit lines. Let's look at Matthews. His shot power is 99. His shot accuracy is 99. Uh, that that kind of shot does not appear in the original game. The best shot in the original game is. Um, Jeremy Roenick, he's got 90 and 90 shot. Um, or you've got Mary Lemieux, a few other players, with uh, 72 shot power, 99 accuracy. Um, and on the other end, you've got Brett Bull with 99 accuracy, and I think uh, 64, no, 99 power, I think 64 accuracy. So. This is new, no player in the original game has a shot this good. And I guess that the way that they've balanced that out is they've, uh, for most players, nerfed the offensive awareness and defensive awareness. So you see all these players, they're all below 50 on offensive awareness. Uh, Matthews, Marner, unless you're a star player, you do not have much offensive awareness. Uh, well, I wanted to try. Frederick Gauthier, 236 pounds. I think that's the heaviest you can be in NHL 94, or can you go a bit higher? And the reason to uh, want to test him out on here... Oh, he is slow. <laughs> um, is to see how good he is at checking. He's a heavy player, so he should be good at checking. I <laughs> can't catch McDavid, though. So let's come over to his wing. It's a little bit heavy to uh, test that out with. Oh, McDavid, just breakaway after breakaway. No one even wants to... <laughs> players don't even want to give the puck to go take. Instantly taken down against the boards. Uh, King Raph is asking, do you know if the overall formula remains the same as the original? Uh, I verified that, that it is the same. Um, later on in the stream, I'm going to share a spreadsheet for um, everyone to work together to crowdsource the player ratings. And in there, I happen to verify that it is the same. Um, and it obeys the... Uh, I was mentioning the, the hot cold is accurate, so it follows that as well. So, um, like I noticed that uh, Mitch Marner this game, he's got a plus one on his base attribute. So his overall rating is 87. Typically, he's got an 88 in this game. Uh, it is a little bit wider. They've added, uh, I mean, they've uh, stretched the game out a little bit, and I was having trouble adjusting it so I just didn't bother on the stream. Maybe that is why it uh, looks like Super Nintendo view. So just go Che, just get that in there. Yeah, you just plowed McDavid. <laughs> you can't catch anyone 
else though. I'm gonna plow that guy so I can I can uh, verify that uh, the uh, weight bug is fixed because Goche 260 200, 206, 236 pounds is just trucking everyone. Let's see if we can get a point for all that hard work. Oh, off the post. Good question. King Raph asks, check out the CB check. So I'm going to put on a bunch of light players. So we got Marner. I can't put on a bunch of Marners because after a while they disappear. Um, who else is light? Got Janssen. A lot of these players don't even play for the Leafs anymore. I think Janssen was uh, moved. Um, I think Kerfoot's pretty light. Who's gone here? Uh... Okay, I've got a new contract. Oh, I guess it's just Johnson or Janssen. Funny story about Andreas Janssen. When he uh, was a young player playing for the, uh, the Toronto Marlies in the AHL, they misspelled his name as as J O N J O H N S O N, like typical Johnson. And uh, he's just just I guess a young kid didn't want to make any waves, so he never told anyone that he spelled his name wrong on his jersey. And it lasted like half a year. Put Sandine on. Sandine's pretty good in this. At least in terms of, uh, I mean, skating is really important in this game, so Sandine's a pretty good skater. Yeah, Riley, Riley also a very strong skater. He's also very hot in this game, plus five. We're gonna go with Barry. All these light players. And what the CB check is that King Raph is asking is if you, um, so I mentioned the weight bug is fixed. Uh, if you want to to like counteract the weight bug fix and be able to check with the light player, you line up a check and you press the C button. But then before the player um, completes the check, like makes contact, you press the B button. Uh, well, it's all different on Xbox. That's uh, B and A, so B A check. I'm not an expert at that, so I'm trying to figure it out. I don't use it too much. Let's see. Let's line this up. There, it looked like it worked. So, typically, uh, Kerfoot. I'm not sure how much McDavid weighs, but typically that would be not a very successful check. So what you see is I line up the check. I press on Xbox, it's the B button, um, or the rightmost button, that one, and then you quickly press that button, the bottom button, uh, to switch players before the check connects, so you see the stars has disappeared, and then the check works, and David goes flying, and I think that verifies that um, the CB check, as we call it in the Sega world, exists. Let's check McDavid's weight here. 188, so he's weighs about two increments more than per foot. Typically, that kind of a check wouldn't succeed. So I think we verified that. Can I get like a really big guy? Dry saddle would be a good example. Uh, so yeah, I think that's the end of the uh, differences section. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a trick here, which is when you pull your goalie, your players don't miss the net, so that'll help with this demonstration. Unless you know they pick up the puck and they score on us. Can I pull the goalie. No goalie. And the goalie's still there. So, it seems like we found another bug. So there you go. The next, let's put the goalie back in, even though he didn't come out anyway. I'm a little bit confused. So you can do that move from closer. In fact, people will come into the corner. And if I can avoid losing the puck here. All right, we're gonna do that again. Oh, uh, where's my goalie? <laughs> okay, this is a definite bug of some sort. 
Can I have my goalie back? No? I say no goalie. Do I get my goalie back? I don't.